My name is Ronnie Shellis. I'll be using the C harmonica today, and I will talk to you about the differences between the two draw and the three below. On a 10-hole diatonic like this Marine Band Deluxe right here, they're the same note. The two draw on a C harmonica is G, and the three below is a G note as well. So how would one know whether to use the two draw versus the three below? Well, let's talk about it. I'm going to give you some examples of riffs that I think would be much better suited by using the two draw and also some ideas that I think would be much better suited by using that three blow. The main difference between these holes is a tonal difference. The two draw has a huskier sound. I can, re I can introduce that note with a chord, the one, two, three draw chord. To give it this beautiful um, resonation or clean. So out of the two notes, it tends to be the biggest and have the it has the fullest tone. So it, when in doubt, use the two draw. That's what I say. It's it's the primary note choice out of the two. Um, the three blow has a thinner tone, but it's a real sweet tone. And because we're blowing, we only are getting just that G versus the two draw, where it's possible sometimes, intentionally or accidentally, I guess, to introduce a flattened note, a bent note. Um, so if you're going from a two, uh, that G note and you plan on heading down and flatting the note, then the two draw is your choice. Two draw to two full step bend to two draw. That's one example of why you would choose that two draw over the three blow. But really it's just this big resonation on the two draw. That's why you want to think about going there a lot of the time. So a better thing to discuss at this point is when do you want to use the three blow? Because there are so many examples of when to use the two draw. I'm bringing it to that two draw every time, most of the time. But there's a couple examples like this. So I'm going to teach you that. And then right here, I grabbed this from Billy Branch years ago, this funky tune. Now, the, part, the first part of that little funky riff ha it introduces a three blow versus a two draw. So when it matters is this. You want the three blow... When, it met, when it's a matter of the fluidity of the riff, the phrasing, essentially. And there are riffs that are going to really lose that fluidity if you go to that two draw. So the first example, one draw, two blow, three blow, don't have to change airflow direction, so it's keeping it fluid. One draw, two blow, three blow, three draw, half step bend, two draw. I'm going to end it on two draw. Just play that line. Using some chords between it. Now if I did it as a two draw instead of a three blow, you'd get this. It sounds very different. Versus here's the two draw. They both have a strong presence each time. That note versus the, the way I'm teaching you that for the three blows got a sweet sound. So it's a matter of the fluidity of that phrasing. And the second example I gave you is, I'm just gonna teach you that, that line that came up with the three blow. Four draw. <clears throat> to four bend, three draw, to four blow, and three blow, back to four blow. So four draw, four bend, three draw, four blow, three blow, four blow. And the last note I'm going to throw in is that three draw half step. Could even bring it back to four blow. 
So you hear how I'm using that three blow. If we made it a two draw, I'd have to jump over a whole other hole. Now the fluidity is not going to be the same as. So for speed and fluidity, I'm often thinking about that three blow. And if I know I'm gonna be introducing notes right around the two hole, I'm thinking the two draw for sure. Hope that helps you guys. I will see you soon.